The Romanian Workers' Rights Project was a fantastic opportunity for the GLAA to collaborate with the Skills and Education Group. It was built on the back of the Level 1 qualification in order to provide more opportunities and more accessible opportunities for Romanian workers to learn more about the rights of employees in the UK. We provided um, the funding for, these, for this qualification to uh, be developed and we provided a lot of support and input to shape what that programme looked like. And out of that came a 10 hour package, a learning package that could be delivered in a much more accessible way. It could support people who perhaps had childcare um, requirements or, you know, survivors of domestic abuse. There was lots of more, uh, lots more opportunity for people to engage with that. The aim of it was to really ensure that we could push the message out and let people know as far and wide as possible how to engage with the employment rights in the UK. At the GLAA, we often see victims who come from the Romanian community. Although we're starting to see a diversification of victims from different parts of the world, victims from Romania are um, the most prolific that we see. And I think the cultural and language barriers can often lead to vulnerabilities for exploitation. And those who are criminally minded will jump on those opportunities to exploit workers. So it's really important for us to be able to do as much as we can to help prevent those uh, Romanian workers who are potentially vulnerable to exploitation. So the exploitation can manifest in many ways. Sometimes we might see really low levels of exploitation that perhaps doesn't feel like exploitation to the worker. It could be things like you're not being paid the national minimum wage, but it could be right through to like coercive, controlling behaviour where you're not able to um, leave the accommodation that you're given, you're not able to change jobs, and you don't receive any money for the hard work that you do. And we see a range of that exploitation in the UK. And I think people being able to understand what their rights are and being able to know when there are challenges to those rights will help prevent that because at an early opportunity a worker will be able to check and challenge and to make sure that they're being treated fairly and given uh, you know kind of equal opportunities to the rights that they deserve. So the feedback that we've received on this course has been phenomenal. I've been really blown away at how engaged people have been and how much it's actually changed their view of working in the UK. The Skills and Education Group are uniquely placed to deliver this. They're very collaborative, which was really supportive, enabled us to support them really well with this. But they have a huge range of stakeholders and their processes in order to develop this package has been really robust. They've been able to really develop the content to a really high quality, to a really high standard that really targets the market that we were aiming for. This project has been really successful and I've been so proud to see the commitment that everybody's put into this work and to see the uh, feedback from those who have engaged with it. So individuals now knowing more about their rights in the UK are gonna be much better placed to be able to challenge where their rights are being abused and they're also able to share that information with their community. And having, being empowered to know what your rights are and to have that confidence to know when something needs to be challenged, I think is a massive step forward in being able to stop labour exploitation in the UK.